Prince Andrew has been spotted riding in Windsor while the controversial documentary Scoop premieres on Netflix. Hello viewers, welcome to Royal Unlock. Please make sure to subscribe and hit the notifications bell, so you don't miss any updates about the British monarchy. Prince Andrew was seen smiling while horseback riding in Windsor today, coinciding with the release of a dramatic new film. The Duke of York was spotted riding in Windsor just as a new Netflix movie portraying his Newsnight interview was released. The film, called Scoop, is based on the book Scoops by Sam McAllister, who detailed how she orchestrated the high-profile interview in a Tatler article from April 2024. The 2019 interview that gained international attention focused on the Duke's association with the billionaire and convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein. During the interview, Maitlis addressed allegations by Virginia Jufrey, who accused the Duke of being involved in Epstein's sex trafficking ring when she was 17 years old. The interview had an overwhelmingly negative impact on Prince Andrew's reputation, leading him to withdraw from public royal appearances. In 2022, he reached a settlement in a lawsuit with Jufrey, and Queen Elizabeth II removed his military ties and royal affiliations. Prince Andrew continues to maintain his innocence. During the interview, he cast doubt on the authenticity of the photo featuring himself alongside his accuser, Virginia Jufrey. He confirmed his presence in the image but stated that it may not necessarily be his hand. What is happening? Did he have someone else pretend to be him? In a comical turn of events, he rejected claims of dancing with Virginia Jufrey at a London club by saying he has a medical condition that prevents him from sweating. It seems ironic now that he is facing scrutiny on the matter. Despite the damaging impact the movies are having on the royal family, Prince Andrew continues to deny the accusations against him, and has reached a financial settlement with Jufrey. It is possible that, without admitting any wrongdoing, he is completely innocent of the allegations and may be a victim of a false accusation. Due to his ill-considered actions, it is evident that this fool has created this crisis for himself. The impact of his behavior on the monarchy, his family, and the country is clearly portrayed in two prominent Hollywood movies dedicated to this story. What did he do this weekend? He was seen leisurely riding a horse around his royal property, seeming carefree. This individual has been consistently benefiting financially, receiving valuable assets like a mansion from his mother upon marrying Sarah Ferguson, which he later sold for a significant profit. He also made a substantial amount from selling a Swiss chalet. It seems like a luxurious lifestyle, traveling around the world as a business ambassador funded by taxpayers. What level of business acumen does Prince Andrew possess? It seems minimal at best, as he likely relies on others to handle such responsibilities. Comparing his financial skills to those of Katie Price, a friend of mine, is not fair to her given his apparent lack of ability in this area. What lies ahead for Andrew? Recently, I proposed the idea of him reconciling with Sarah Ferguson through marriage, to regain respect and quietly contribute to serving the nation, all while working to mend his reputation and address the issues at hand. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to subscribe. See you in our next video.